Hello everybody and welcome back, thanks for tuning in. Uh, for those people watching this on my Facebook, uh, this is the kind of videos that I do for my YouTube channel. I have video game footage that I've made playing in the background. The game being featured today is actually Rocket League. It's, uh, it's basically football with remote control cars. Um, it's, I have it on the Xbox, I don't have it on the PC. So that's why I'm hands free because this is all pre-recorded footage. So, uh, but try and ignore that because that's not quite really what I'm going to be talking about today. Those on my YouTube channel who do know what I do, well, you're very familiar with this this whole setup where I'm stuck in a corner and there's a video game being played to my my left. You're right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure which way around it's going at the moment. Um, so, what I wanted to talk about today, and it won't take too long, but please, please, please wait to the end because it is important. It's it's quite a big deal. So what I, what I realized is something that I could do with my spare time is, apart from what I'm already doing, is try and do fundraisers, I, like charity fundraisers, nothing for myself, I, I don't need anything. Um, I signed up a couple of years ago to do um, the Stand Up To Cancer campaign. And for one reason or another, I never got around to actually doing it. And yeah, I, I feel guilty. I do. Um, I have the pack and everything. They sent me everything I needed. And I never got it off the ground. I'm pretty sure it happened around the same time as some stuff happened at work. And in my personal life that kind of meant I wasn't mentally able to, uh, to, to, to deal with it at the time. Um, but that's, you know, that, that's nothing. So what I decided today while I was sitting down and just watching videos on YouTube, uh, relaxing, was that I could quite easily, in the next few weeks, do a fundraiser. Now, a lot of people, they, they do the Tough Mudder, they do other activities like baking, bake-offs or whatever it is that they do, um, to try and raise as much money as they can for uh, cancer research, which is, and let's be honest, is one of the biggest things that we could really be raising money for. I have, not personally, but I have had a lot of problems with cancer by proxy, and I'd like to go through a couple with you, uh, just so you get the idea. Um, when I was about six years old, I lost my paternal grandmother to um, to cancer, lung cancer. Uh, unfortunately, she smoked quite heavily, but still, lung cancer got her in the end. So I, I, and my grandfather was already dead. So I had no paternal grandparents, uh, which was kind of sad, you know. But I, it, but again, being six. You, you knew that something was up, but you didn't really know the details of it. Uh, one of my best friends, my one of my very best friends, uh, he uh, had a brain tumor. And uh, this was, we were about 15 at the time, give or take. He's about a year younger than me. So he would have been 14, 14 years old. And uh, it wasn't diagnosed. It was uh, discovered when he became very ill uh, very in a very, very quick space of time. Uh, he made it, He ha it was operated on, he had to go through a lot of, lot of hardship to recover, but uh, he did and my god has he made, <laughs> has he made some serious impact uh, since coming out the other side of that and I couldn't be prouder of him. Um, my uh, mother, my mother uh, had to have a lump from one of her breasts removed. Uh, luckily it was benign, uh, but still, um, same problems. Uh, I've had people, I've, uh, women I've known, uh, they've had cancerous cells uh, on the cervix and stuff, and so you know what that leads to, or could lead to, or you're at range, uh, sorry, you are at risk slash danger of, sorry, that's where I was going with that, and that's terrible, I mean, that's a terrible thing. My father... Uh, about two years ago uh, was diagnosed was it was it three years ago I can't even remember this stuff you know th this is how time flies and you just don't think about it and then just like that time stops for somebody um, he was diagnosed with cancer in the bladder uh, again I, I've been very fortunate with people making it through um, I think we're 
apart from my grandmother, we're we're four and oh, uh, we're well four and one if we're keeping score uh, for people that have survived. So uh, my dad's okay. He's the treatment's ongoing. It will be ongoing, but he's okay. Um, I think that may have been around the time, ironically, horribly, coincidentally, actually, that he, it may have been around that time that he had been diagnosed when I was due to do the, the fundraiser of some, of you know, some description back then, because I looked at the dates it was set for, and uh, it, the dates sound about right um, for when it will happen. Um, and my bestest friend um, sadly lost his mother three years ago today, uh, the day I make, I'm making this video, to bone cancer, of all things, that I initially never really heard of. I, I think I'd heard of it, but I never really saw the impact it has on a person um, until I saw what it did to, to her. It was, uh, yeah, it was tough. It really was. Um, and that's today, three years ago today. Um, and, the, and you know what the scary thing was? Was that she originally, she, she initially beat it. She initially beat it and then it came back. I mean, I, okay, I, the details are kind of sketchy because I, I don't like talking about it and neither does my friend, which is cool. Um, I know we should, it's healthy to talk about it, but sometimes you don't want to. You just don't want to, you know? I mean, I'm getting a little bit emotional thinking about it. So, so I thought, okay, well, what, what can I do? What can I do? I've got a very small subscriber based on YouTube because what I'm doing is probably not very good content it's not people are not really interested uh, because it's been done to death but it's something I enjoy and I and like I've spoken to people and if you know what I'm talking about you'll know that I do it for other reasons than trying to make millions on YouTube because it's not gonna happen I, I, I know and I'm okay with that it would be nice to try and do something else but you know, it, it, hey, I'm <laughs> the, that ship has sailed. That cruise ship has gone, and everyone else is on it. So I'm going to be trying different things. But going back to my point about the whole fundraising thing, the reason why I'm making this video today is because I'm announcing that I am actually going to do a fundraiser now. What could I do? I could bake cakes. I could run a marathon. I could. Uh, I, I could um, have a specific diet for a month, or I could, I, I could, okay, the easiest one I could do is go, well, I won't drink for a month. Well, that's cool. My work means I can't drink anyway, really. Uh, so I don't drink. I don't drink anyway. Um, when I do, yeah, I have a good time, but it's not really on my thing. I could give up smoking. There's a problem. I already have. Uh, I don't really vape anymore, uh, which is... A bit of a, <laughs> I may occasionally, but I really have to be in the mood. It's very strange. In a short space of time, things change like that. I used to be vaping non-stop. I used to be buying liquids by the truck full and stuff, and now not so much. So the easy stuff, and I'm not saying that. Okay, marathons, forget it. Okay, my cardio is just not there. It's just not, not with it. Um, so, what can I do? Well, I love video games, clearly. I mean, like, just look at this mess that's happening here. <laughs> I love video games. There's a thing I could do. I was like, right, I will have... And I know it's been done before. I will do a 24-hour games marathon. Now, people will say, oh, well, that's easy. It's like, yeah, okay. Well, it, you may say that, but I am not allowed to stop. I can only stop to go to the toilet. I can only stop to take... Uh, a half an hour break to eat and drink. I have to stream it live for 24 hours on YouTube and Twitch, which I'm going to do. So any of you Twitchers out there, um, Twitch users, because I just realized how offensive Twitchers could be. Um, I apologize for that. Um, but you get my drift. Uh, please, 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 please follow my, uh, my, my YouTube channel if you can or the Twitch channel. Uh, I, I will even try and do it live through Facebook. I may need my wife's help for that. She may have to do it by proxy. So, when is this going to happen? Right. The cool thing is, is it won't be long. I have two weeks until I have two weeks of annual leave. Now, I can do it any time in those two weeks because I have no other commitments apart from the dog. Which, again, I will have to 
buy lots of presents for my wife to try and say, well, look, can you please take the dog while I'm doing this? Because I will be in front of a, not necessarily this computer, I might be in front of the Xbox. Now, the cool thing is I'm going to set it up so that the, the, the room is visible. So, you may, I may not be at this computer playing, I may be at the Xbox playing. I, I, I may shift between the two because I am going to have to get up and walk around. Um, some people have said that it's... Um, it, it, it's very mentally taxing because staying up for a whole 24 hours when you're in your like in your 20s is you know it's nothing we've all done it it's easy people have been on weekend benders when they end the thing i'm 35 so i'm kind of in the i'm getting towards the later half of my 30s and my cardio conditioning is not great so it's going to be tough for me i'm going to have to drink plenty of h2o just uh take one there for for everyone so that's my plan is it's gonna be at least so two weeks from now we should be getting moving with it I will be posting all my just giving page uh, not just giving sorry sorry my cancer research page my donation page I will be uh, taking um, I'll be taking a vote for what games I should play, something entertaining. I may have friends dropping in for a bit to do co-op, cooperative games. Um, it'll be live. It will be constantly live, so you can come in at any point and say hi and interact and everything. Um, please, uh, my target is two hundred pounds because I know that money's tight, but anything will help. Anything helps to try and beat cancer. There's so many people who are not as lucky as me who and I and of course uh, I'm very lucky to have never been uh, in a position to be affected by it uh, I could be I could be affected in 5 10 15 20 years I hope I'm not I hope that my 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 DNA uh, just resists it, the cancer of you know disease um, whatever the fuck you want to call it it's a horrible thing I've seen what it does to people um, and I want to try and beat it. I want to try and beat it because it's taken too many people that didn't deserve it. And it's affected lives of the people that, you know, the people that shouldn't have deserved it. Things like that, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm getting at is I'm going to be doing a cancer research fundraiser my goal is 200 pounds if we break the goal fine if people want to say okay i'll give you x what well, i'll give you x amount but you need to do this you know providing it's not going to get my youtube channel shut down because it's it's going to get banned no nudity okay i don't care how much you want to see my uh, man tits it ain't going to happen okay um Please keep it clean because it's for it's it's for a serious cause. Um, I can't stress that enough. If you can't give, that's fine. Like uh, that's okay. But at least just just check in and say hi, you know, because um, the interaction will be nice. It'd be nice to know that people are not necessarily even watching, but they're taking notice, you know. And then maybe hopefully it will inspire someone to do their own fundraiser, and then we can get more money into trying to trying to beat cancer yeah because it fucking sucks it's like the final boss of a game that you just can't beat not yet anyway because we need to get the buffs we need to get the item upgrades and stuff and i'm sorry if i sound like a fucking nerd because i'm using game analogies and stuff and i'm not trying to be cute about it it's just it's what i'm most familiar with and what i'm most comfortable with so i will have all the links that you need in the description if you uh, don't know how to do it online if you can't pay online uh, we will figure out a way for um, for in-person uh, in-person donations and stuff the date for it I will follow this video up with the the date announcement because uh, I have to speak to my wife she's not here right now she is uh, performing uh, on stage doing uh, a live show for uh, the Amateur Drama Society she belongs to in uh, Goff Soak. 
that's uh, getting underway in less than half an hour. So I, I wish her luck uh, and, and all my friends that are there and everyone. So I'll have to fi figure out a good day, a good date rather, when uh, we can all get involved and do it. And it will be a weekend most probably. Um, hope, and I, it may even be a Sunday, but who knows. Uh, so with that, I'm going to stop the video there. Thank you very much for watching if you've watched this far. I Wow, 15 minutes. Okay, I'm really sorry that took that long, but I just had to really make my point and everything. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope to see you in the live stream when it will be, hopefully soon. Uh, like I said, I'll follow this up with another announcement for that light date. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon.